Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 12 of Atelier Ryza. So on the last time with this game, we completed our secret hideout. But Lent sensed something in the forest. Something deadly. Something wild that made the forest cry. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> so we're going to check it out because, well, we just completed this hideout. We can't let anything happen to it. So we're just gonna do we're just gonna do this right here and right now. So anyway, let's break that in order to get a crimson ore. Smack this in order to get a an itchy. And actually, we do have time for one thing, and we need to kill these things anyway. It's fine. It's all for, it's all for the quest, baby. <laughs> And that's why one bomb will actually ob will legitimately obliterate poonies. That's correct. But another reason why is because there is a big blue poonie here, which is a mini boss. So let's do this. So one one useful tip that I can offer you is whenever whenever it's somebody else's turn, uh, whenever you see someone else have their turn by now by reaching the bottom of the thing, make sure to use an item straight away. That'll cause that uh, that stun gates to go down a lot, a lot, a lot. Believe me, it just works. It just works like that. Absolutely no problem. Okay. So we used items, so that activated that thing. And I want to see if I can lower this stats, actually. Okay, here we go. I mean, if we do that, then that's good, but if we can't, then oh well. Okay. Even if items do, even if some items are really the best for taking care of some enemies in a certain situation, you can always have their effects. You can always have their effects go off. Like even if, even if this giant puny resists the bombs, you still get. You still have the benefits of you know statuses and all that. Like, like slowing down them. You know, that good stuff. All right, let's actually use our skills. Oh, want to take care of that real quick? And there we go. Stun that thing even further by making them waste their by making them wait their turn. And there we go. We actually reached tactics level five, which is so which is so good. All right, get him. Unleash hell. Seriously, unleash just unleash the hell. We can lower enemy stats with Excel Drive. And that didn't even happen. Which, that's fine. Ooh, we don't have enough for anything. Oh shoot. We really, we really don't. It doesn't really matter anyway. It's all done. We pretty much got this. With the giant <laughs> Wow, Lent got Mike wazowski right there. Alright. Giant Poony Ball. Mostly Poony. So, what is that? Mostly Poony. Raises target's physical defense resistance, but extends the wait time. So, huh. Could be useful for could be useful for something. So anyway, uh, where where am I going? Okay, I'm I'm going over this. I'm going over this way. Okay. Don't know if I seem to get turned around a whole lot, but it's fine. Oh, filled out material gu guide. Okay. Uh, is that the only one I've done out of this one? Yeah. We learn preparation. What is that? What is that for, uh, Mr. Tao? Grants you a one-time immunity to all ailments at the start of a battle. Jesus. 
That's pretty good.逃げろ。逃げろ。逃げろよ。一体何だったの？あれ。わからんが、今はタオに大賛成だ。他にもいるかもしれない。注意しながら逃げると。せっかくのお披露目も台無しになっちゃってクラウディアにはさっき家に帰ってもらったけどこのままだとまたあそこに行くのも難しそうであの広場が安全だって確認できるまで迂闊に隠れ家として<笑> さっきから難しい顔で黙りこくってるけどやっぱり怒ってるわざわざ見に行くなんて無謀なことしたのは謝るよでもいやよく無事に戻ったそれだけでも教えた甲斐はあったえ確かに無謀だが奴らと出くわして名を戻って来られた事実はそれだけ大きい奴らやっぱりあの魔物について知ってるんだねああ村での聞き込みでは成果がなかったからここは無関係と判断しかけていたんだがなこれだけ遺跡が散在していながら伝
すまん遭遇した場所は商用性の森なのは間違いないんだなああアトリエからそこそこ離れた場所だった逃げた方向も全然違うと思うなるほどしかし奴らはどこから来た石膏が遠出をするとも思えん北側のあそこかしかしあれは奴らと戦う側のはずなあリラああ構わんぞんすまんが今すぐ隠れ家に案内してくれないかいいけどいずれ二人にもお披露目するつもりだったしよしでは行こう奴らへの対処はできるだけ早い方がいい私たちの隠れ家ライザのアトリエだよおおなかなか立派なものを作ったなさてどうだリラ幸いこの付近に痕跡はないな森の中でのより詳しい再調査は必要だが森とその近辺の再調査かライザ部水を承知で頼むがこの隠れ家に私とリラを見張りとして住まわせてくれないかアンペルさんたちをアトリエの見張りに俺たちにとっちゃ願ったり叶ったりだけどよ島の方の家はどうするんだ村での暮らしにこだわりはない引き払うだけさもともと私たちは旅ガラスだからなそれに奴らや遺跡を調査するにも対岸のここに本拠地があった方が便利だその奴らのことはすまんがもう少し状況をつかむまで待ってくれうかつに話せることではなくてな分かったでも万が一の対処の仕方は教えといてくれよ当然だ生還は喜ばしいとして無謀のツケはしっかり体に叩き込んで後の戒めとしなければなうえー、そうだクラウディアにも話さなきゃクラウディアんちにも行ってみよう。Mainland destination has changed. Your destination has been updated. You no longer need to go to the Traveler's Road. You, you, you must now head to the hidden clearing in Pixie Forest. You know, whatever that means. <laughs> so, yeah, there's actually, yeah, there's actually a boat here. So I guess that's what it means. So, we effectively have another way of g getting to here. But what's the point when we actually can go inside and. Tokoro de sa. Mai kara kini not te tan dakedo. Ore te nan nan daro. Kono atelier o tsukuru mai kara koko ni at tan da yo ne. Stere no mo mottai nai kara sono mama no ko ste te. Choto mi te mi o. この辺りの地図なのかな書きかけみたいだけど何百年も前この広場に家を建てて住んでた人が書き記したものなんじゃないのなんかロマンあるねそうだせっかくの地図だし私たちも利用させてもらおうよえっんでもこれ書きかけだよだから私たちが完成させるのあとどういうところだっただから私たちが完成させるの行った場所をどんどん書き足していってさあとどういうところだったかコメントも残したり面白いと思わない<笑>いいねやってみよう
much better skip traveling! <laughs> yeah, so if you go into the... If you go into your home base, you actually have the ability to unlock skip traveling. For real this time. The memory map is essentially a combination map and log of where your adventure has taken you. Bring up the memory map to see an image of each individual field. If you fully cleared a specific area, you can add a record of your exploration. This will change based on who writes in the log, so feel free to pick your favorite character to handle it. You can also use the memory map as a shortcut to reach each area. Make sure to use this to your advantage. Oh yeah, we definitely will because we have so much. We have so much now. In fact, one of Tal's quests is actually to discover landmarks and if you've already done that, then it's absolutely no problem for you now. Pursuing attacker. Ooh, what is that one? As the boys could proceed to actually scream at the door. Increases damage dealt to stunned targets. And we've been setting up things a whole lot, actually, so... That's a score. Gather exploration logs, too. Okay. So... You just press the select button, or the minus button, or whatever button you're using. And there's your skip traveling. As you can clearly see, we have a ton, and I mean a ton of areas to explore already. And yeah, those landmarks don't fool you. There's ten landmarks on Kirken Island, five in Pixie Forest, five in uh, Traveler's Road, and five at the Sunken Mine. So, very clearly... We still have a whole lot of video game left. <laughs> and of course, uh, this will tell you, and exactly this will tell you what quests that you need to do. So that's a score. <laughs> that's basically a score and a half. So yeah, that's already, that's already incredible actually. <laughs> So once we get a break, so once we get a little break in the story, we're definitely going to be do, taking care of those quests. You know, once we take care of all the recipes and all the and all the good stuff too, and blah 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 blah. So, yep, that's the thing. But for right now, we should actually just go ahead and go over to uh, Claudia's house. And I think, well, yeah, no, the house isn't actually a landmark, which is weird. When actually, does this quest actually involve us just talking? I think so. We'll do this real quick. Oh, Pat. Hey there, Riza. Oh, and who's this lovely young lady? My name is Claudia. Ah, oh, then I must be, that must make you Lebart's daughter, the two of the newest island residents, and hmm? Ah, I have to say, your outfit is exquisite. Yeah, it is. I love this outfit, actually. The stretch, the waves, and the stitching are magnificent. Whoever made this knew how to tailor it perfectly to its owner. And the dye work on your skirt is stunning. How long have you been wearing this? I, um, okay, Pat, that's enough. Ah, oh, sorry about that. Old habits die hard, I guess. You have a habit of inspecting clothes. Um, anyway, did you always work at a die ho die ho a die horse? What? <laughs> die house here on the island? Die horse. No, I was actually an apprentice in the city. Once I was ready to open my own shop, I came back here. But during my training, lovely young folks like this y young lady here came all came to see me all the time. Wow, that must have been a pretty expensive store, huh? Now, anytime I want, I see unique and unusual clothes, I fall back into that world. I guess that habit stuck with me. Then, if you really love clothes that much, you should reopen your shop. Don't you think so, Claudia? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. Well, I would have never closed it if these old bones still moved like they used to. If I could... If I could take ha have taken on an apprentice, then maybe things would have been different. An apprentice? Anyway, that's all in the past now. 
Uh, I talked your ear off again. I think I'll get going. Th thanks for talking to us. I love it if Kirk and Island had a die house again. Or a die horse, I don't know. Hmm, maybe I can find an apprentice for him. Do you have anyone specific, specific in mind? Not at all. <laughs> well, that's fair, I guess. Yeah, it's literally just that. <laughs> all right, that's perfect, actually. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Anyway, uh, I don't think the uh, Claudia's house is a landmark, which is weird. But it's fine. いらっしゃい、ライザー。なんだか大変なことになっちゃったね。アトリエの方はあれからどうなったの度胸あるなあ。タオにも見習わせたいくらいだよ。こう見えてもお父さんといろんなところを旅したからね。タオ君、やっぱり怖がってる。かなりね。でも怖さが突き抜けちゃったせいかな。あの魔物が家の古書に
自分に向いた方法で強化を図るのはいいことだうん私は錬金術師だし道具を作って自分とみんなを助けるって役割が向いてるかなって役割かそれを分かってきたのなら私からも一つ仲間たちと一緒に戦う方法について助言してやろうおおお願いしますリラ先生一人で戦うのと違って仲間がいる場合はそれぞれ役割を決めて動くといい前に切り込むもの盾となって防ぐもの補助に回るものそういう役割を明確にすると何事にも対処がしやすいなるほどおのおのの役割が決まればその役割に見合った装備品を揃えるといった方針も立てやすくなるはずだ装備品の材料は無限ではない闇雲に作るのではなく効率的に仲間を強化することを考えて作るんだ The role system. Now we're actually going to get into this one. Switching a teammate's equipment will allow you to change their role. Each item has a set of role levels, and the final role is determined by how these are distributed. There are four different roles, and each one has their own stat bonuses and passive skills, such as attackers being having increased attack and critical rate. Carefully select each ally's role and place them accordingly. This is your key to victory. Precisely. And if I can find a guy to actually explain that a bit further, then that would be absolutely wonderful. Oh, right here. Okay. So you press the X button on a character to change their role. So attackers have increased attack stats and in, in critical rate, like I said. Defenders have increased defense. If there's an ally in the same row, the front row, you'll be targeted more, and you may take damage for another character. And in the back row, You'll, you'll take reduced damage. Whatever the heck that means, rows mean, but you know, it's progress. But you know, I get, we might find that out sooner than you think. Increased speed for support. Chance to gain extra AP when you're using normal attacks. So if you want your character to fill out a support role, then you can do that too. And there's special, uh, this one, you'll have to find out on your own because I I don't know what this is on the top of my head. So right now, uh, novice, you have no extra bonus, ex extra effects or bonuses. So that's something. But you know, this is what those rolls on the weapons on the weapon slots are all about. So if you manage to make a weapon or armor ability that or armor that has a sort of different roll. Or rather, if it has a roll slot, then you can increase that level by one. That way, it can have a much better effect on your roll. So, keep that in mind whenever you're synthesizing stuff. And speaking of which, uh, right before I was, uh, right before I was rudely interrupted. See, this isn't necessarily this is necessarily what I mean by this being a different RPG than what you're than what you're supposed to be used to. Ordinarily, with some of these some of these RPGs, you're all like, you're all like, oh man, we gotta save the world from this thing, you know? I don't, I still don't have enough of this. Why do I, why do I not have enough for anything? Again, ordinarily, you'd be like, oh man, stuff is happening, you know, the plot is progressing, these characters are developing, and you're doing, and you're doing all sorts of stuff in order to save the world. But I don't think Atelier Ryza is anything like that. No. Stuff is happening. It's just not in the way that you're used to. You're just seeing these characters grow into what they want to be. And you know what? That's not necessarily a bad thing, in my opinion. In fact, that's basically what makes this game sort of unique to me. It's just the fact that... That, you know, stuff is happening, you just gotta pay attention to what kind of stuff is happening. It doesn't have to be completely obvious, it doesn't have to be completely obvious, like all these big grand RPGs like Xenoblade or Fire Emblem or anything like that is going on. 
you just have to you just have to pay attention. Because now Claudia because for example, now Claudia knows what she wants to do. There's a thing going on where she wants to play her where she wants to gather up courage to play th the flute, you know? Play a musical instrument. She clearly has a passion. And it's just a matter of time before that passion comes forward. So, again, that's the sort of stuff that's that's happening in this in this uh, video game that we call the Atelier Ryza. <laughs> you know, again, more about it's about the character it's about the characters and the moments, not necessarily about you know what the heck is going on in the plot. Sort of like Earth, sort of like Earthbound, in fact. Anyway, um, so what I actually want to do is we actually have the ability to, uh, do a new, uh, gathering tool, I guess. So what we're going to do here is we're going to send at least two more woodcutter's axes. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Reaper's Scythe and we're going to fill this out. Going to get that, we're going to get that trait going. We're going to get that going. And then, here we go. There we go. Scythe Axe. So, yeah, you need to fill up your gathering tools in order to do that. And there we go. Alchemy level, level 20. And we increased our items by one. So, let's equip our brand new thing. We can cut and chop with this. So, this is basically a combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. No, this is a combination of the Woodcutter's Axe and Reaper Scythe. Well, except for the fact that we don't necessarily have the effects of gathering up small. So, we're just going to leave that. So, we're probably just going to leave that alone for right now. So, yeah. We're just going to leave that be. Uh, anything else that we can do for right now? Because I really would like to. Actually, I think we can actually do this. So let's fill this out. I think we can morph this recipe into alchemy paint. Uh, yes, we can. Yes, sir. All right, alchemy paint, baby. So yeah, let's do it. Alchemy paint. That's 15 experience already. So let's see, alchemy paint. What is? Hello. Okay, there it is. So you can warp, warp this recipe twice into mastery paint or spirit bottles. So, I believe this is a material for synthesizing. Basically, yep, this is a material. So, the effects on this are synth quality, uh, add mystery element into it, and you can increase the element value into this. So, yeah, let's do that. We only have ice type. We only have ice element honey ants? Huh. That's kind of weird. But you know what? That's fair. So I, so I guess we're just going to roll for the quality then. Alright. Rolling for that. And there we go. Level 21. And now with the uh, proper natural cloth, we can actually make our tier 2 armor sets. So... That is good. We're going to have to remember that. Did we morph this? Oh, no, we didn't. Ooh. We'll do this one last thing, then, before we go. At least I hope we can actually do this. So... Come on, let's bring up... Let's bring up the hopium here. Let's bring up the hopium. Uh, too much hopium. Yep, that's way too much hopium for my blood. 
Well, I suppose it had to happen eventually. Probably. Alright then, so, I guess with that, we technically have the ability to enhance- to advance the story anyway, so... That's fine, but we're gonna see what we can do- well, we're gonna see what we can do, you know, before we, uh, go and see Claudia to see what her plan is. So next time on Atelier Ryza, we're probably gonna send- send a few more things. We're gonna see what side quests are available. And, well, well, we'll see what we can do with our hideout. Now that that's complete. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>